Right, hi everyone. This is going to be um, quick historic brawl uh, run, and we're going to brew a bit first. And one thing I want to try brewing around a little bit is going to be Sahira. So I know she is not um, like clearly at first sight, maybe such an enormously strong and powerful. Uh, option, but I am gonna try to copy many things, and I hope that somehow, if we copy enough good stuff, um, it's gonna end up. <laughs> that's sort of the that's sort of the idea, really. Nothing, um, you know, mind blowing or insanely smart, uh, but um, hopefully. Hopefully good enough to um, do some fun stuff. And yeah, so we're going to go for copying things. And first we want a good mana base. That's going to be where we start from. And uh, of course we want a couple of strong cards that are just, in general, good in this kind of deck. That are just decent, in general, in this deck. And then we're going to do some... Uh, we're going to do some... Copying and artifact shenanigans. So this deck is going to try to do a number of interesting things. Copies and artifacts. Indeed, indeed. So hopefully hopefully we manage to get together a good enough number of cards to make this sort of Bonky wonky and fun. That is the big idea. Do we get Mizex? We do. Um, we can take some turns. Can we counter? We do have some good counter spells. I don't want a lot of counter spells, but I do want maybe. A few counter spells, maybe counter spell itself. Uh, maybe one disdainful stroke, one negate, one Javari disruption, uh, one memory lapse. Yeah, that should be alright. Uh, charm is also very good, of course. And might actually be enough. I don't want to stuff the deck full of uh, counter spells. It's not fun for the opponent, but also it's not so fun for me. Um, I just want to have a couple of counter spells to be able to play around some funny stuff. And. In the end, we would like to be in a good situation to somehow burn our opponent out.
somehow burn them out. So, copy. Copy, copy, copy. Seagate could be good, yeah? That would be fun. What else could we do? What other things could we copy? That would be entertaining. Mirari is not bad, yeah. Mirari can do some funky funky stuff, maybe. Double cast might do some funky stuff. Yeah. Um Ooh, how how nice. Um yeah. We will need some removal, of course, right? Yeah. We will need some removal. Um, so, yeah, that's okay. That's not bad. And then we do want probably a Chandra 4. And we would like some, some exile effects to deal with some pesky creatures. And hmm, what else? What else? We might collect most might be good because it's also a mana rock, basically an expensive mana rock. <laughs> Let me try the demo I don't think it's amazing, but who knows. Um, Right. What else could we do that's so good? These look pretty convincing. What else could we do here that's sort of fun? So when it comes to removal, I would probably want removal which which will help me to get rid of multiple creatures because my big worry I guess is that I get overwhelmed at the beginning of the game that's maybe the biggest danger with this kind of funny, dirtly, let's just be honest, slow deck um, these decks can be really fun, but they don't do much for quite a bit of time. Yeah, Karn is just pretty good. Karn is just pretty good. So, yes, Sweltering Sun is good, and then we have the uh, Wrath, Wrath of uh, Storm's Wrath, and then what else does damage? What else does damage? Also, is there some good destroy that I forgot about? There might be some good destroy cards. Um... Yeah, certainly worth taking a peek. Yeah, some draw, some card draw will be needed as well, maybe. Mm.
Yeah, storm is good. Anything that has storm. But storm is really nice, mainly if we have ways to generate mana. We don't do that very well, to be honest. Here. There are a lot, a lot, a lot of things doing damage. But, uh, not terribly effectively, most of them. That is the big truth. That is the big truth, sadly. So... And we will definitely need a bit more ramp and some good ways to finish the game. Some good ways to finish the game, right? So we do need slightly more power, probably. And slightly more things that add mana. Uh huh. Yeah, Meadow Swarm can be good. Meadow Swarm can be good. Um. Ah, these are the damage dealing artifacts. Well, artifacts are not great at dealing damage, and at least at this point in historic. So what can add some mana in a good way that we can actually make good use of? Oh, command tower, certainly. Uh, crossroads, yeah, very much so. And one blast zone can't hurt, that's for sure. Um... Chromatic Sphere. Cool. So we do get some decent. I mean, Wessel is, is okay ish. Key is okay ish. Do we have Mindstone already? No, we don't have Mindstone, really? How? Oh. We have many Mind things, but not Mindstone. Um, okay. What kind of artifacts do we have here? Do we have any really good artifacts that would be actually worth to run? in this particular deck. I mean, reality chip is funny. Uh, that could be good, yeah. But this is not a dedicated artifact deck. It's more like a copy things and have some artifact synergies deck. Yeah. Hence, can have a look at treasures. Making treasures would be good. Making some more treasure would definitely be useful, if that's possible. Uh, so I might have a look at that.
Yeah, trash for treasure. Interesting, interesting. So then, it's an artifact creature. The treasure vault is not bad. We can play one. Why not? Um, any other useful artifacts that would be good to run? If my viewers have any recommendations, please write it in the chat. I'll be very, very, very happy to incorporate your ideas. Um, Bankbuster is pretty good. I like the Bankbuster. I like Ratchet Bomb as well. Ratchet Bomb is a mean card. A meanie. Treasure map is good, compass is good. Um, but I'm also thinking more like something big. Something interesting and naughty. Okay, end of whack now. It's certainly interesting, not not quite noty enough. It's not a great card, necessarily. Yeah, what else plays well? Solomon is always decent. Yeah, not amazing, but um, does the job. And... The Paradox Engine is, of course, good. Where is Golos? Oh, is Golos banned at the moment? Oh, they banned Golos. That's nice. That's good. That's good news. <laughs> Golos has really, really been a, a plague on the format, I think, for a long, long time. Okay. Um, card draw. So some good card draw would be nice. Look, uh, we have Brainstorm. How nice. What an innocent, cute card. I'm sure it doesn't cause any problems in any format. Why don't we release it again into Historic? I don't know, the person who came up with that idea... Strange people. There are very strange people. Um, I mean, even Divination could be okay, to be honest. Two cards for three. Yeah. A little bit of selection would be good, right? Behold is pretty nice. Um, Drone is good. Put into your hands are also good, those kinds of cards which have that text. But into your hand is uh, is in some ways even better because Narset doesn't host them. Oh, season pyro is just too good. If we can run it, we should run it probably. And Windfall is also very good. Um, okay, any other treasures that we would want to run? Treasure, treasure, treasure. Any other good treasure making mechanisms? Oh, Strike It Rich can be okay. Good treasure making mechanisms. Not necessarily that good. Uh huh. And okay, pot in your hand. What else is there that can put things into our hands? I mean, Ascanta is pretty powerful. See the truth, not bad, yeah. 
Uh, no, I said this is very decent. I like it. And of course, Deluge. It's just so strong. Deluge is just very, very, very good. So this might be. I think this might be it. I'm not 100% sure how we're going to win. Um, so this is Historic Brawl, is it something? <laughs> is it copies? And... How many... We have 40 lands, but our curve is actually pretty low. I'm wondering, like, maybe there are a couple more dual lands that would be good? I mean, even if these cards enter tapped... Yeah, I mean, they're not great, but... Um, I guess just having more duels is good. So... And then I might go down to maybe 38. So that helps a bit straight away. A lot of very heavy, top heavy stuff. Hmm. Mine's Desire is a bit expensive, I'm not sure my deck is well built for that to be cast. So yeah, damage just seems to be very iffy, might work, might not. Um, yeah, Garazas Prisma just doesn't look good enough. Helm of the Host, I mean, we don't have many creatures. <laughs> the problem is we only have about 20 creatures. Yeah, we have to pay the equip as well. Maybe not. It's a bit too jank in this deck. What else could we do, though? Rowan... Rowan is so bad, I don't need to play it. I just know it's bad. <laughs> Some cards are fun to try out, but this is just not one of those, I guess. Uh, wow. Actually, we do have a couple of the... Uh, we do have a couple of MDFCs, so we can go down a two more. Those are Quasi Lands. Strike it rich, might be a little bit weak. Um, great shot again, not that much synergy here maybe. There might be a couple of turns where I can do something fun with it, but not necessarily that many. Um, yeah... Really need the Electromancer and Dorat either. Maze Mind Tome. Do we need Maze Mind Tome? I mean, Maze Mind Tome might be okay. Um, how about these things here? Windfall, I have my doubts about. Karn as well. Karn can make some blockers. It might be quite useful in some situations. Hmm. I think I could might go. I mean, it's a bit unimaginative and uninteresting. Yeah, same feeling about Karn. 
I'm just not that excited to play it. Um, yeah, Relic just looks so defensive. So, we have a list. It's a bonky wonky um, is it brawl list. And we're gonna have a quick look at uh, how to do things with it. So, we want to play first tabletop historic brawl. There we go. Let's have a look at what comes of this. Let's hope it all goes well. Let's hope it all goes well. I'm really, really, really interested and curious about it. Because it looks like a fun deck. Recently, I've been really enjoying Brawl when I wanted to relax a little bit and do less stressful stuff. Oh my god, I'm playing Atali! That's so good! No, I love this! I love this! We do have a bit of power, we do have some very naughty, nasty counter spells. We can cast, uh, we can cast maybe Sahili. And starts crying. Ah, uh, well, that's okay. I don't mind too much. I think countering things a bit later is okay. Yeah, seems fine. I think I want to land. Yeah, perfect. So this could copy Kefnut or Glorybringer, those are pretty good. Mm, could be blue, and that's good for us, yeah. Very happy with that. We're just gonna scry again, it's fine. And keep up a counter spell. Keep up a counter spell. Alright, got land number five. Um opponent probably doesn't have counter spells, so we could go with um, we could go with Glorybringer here. And copy Glorybringer. Going for eight, easy peasy, token goes away. We don't sacrifice the token, we exile it. So this is not good with uh, with sacrifice, bricks with sacrifice, or something like that. Kafnet could be fun as well, yeah, absolutely. Kafnet is just a fun creature, such a fun guy. My opponent is still ramping, they're really trying to get to Italian mana. <laughs> And they actually are going to be right. Like if they have one more, oh, they have all the trip. Oh my god, they can just cast Italy right now. I, I totally disregarded this fact. Um, yeah, that's a big problem if they just cast Italy. I don't know what to do about it. Ah, they might get a free spin off it. Yeah, it's gonna be Italy. No, oh really? They just wiped the board. Okay, it's not great, but it's sort of irrelevant. Um, yeah, I guess we just just don't really have a lot of blue mana. Which is a bit sad. Okay, draw a card, sure.
sure, sure, sure. Opponent has to decide whether it goes on the top of the library or uh, or command zone. Goes to the command zone. Not sure that's a good idea, but you know, up to my opponent, that's fine. Yeah, then we're just gonna bring Chandra and take it up. Give them a Give them one of these little emblems and have enough strength on Chandra to um, get rid of an Itali. Hmm. Not nice, Ugin. Not nice. Not very happy that he did that, you know, to Ugi Boogie. Ugi Boogie. What are you doing? Oogie Boogie. Well, we're gonna try and this kill Oogie Boogie. Because we're sort of unhappy about Oogie Boogie coming around and terrorizing us. And we definitely don't want Oogie... Oogie Mr. Boogie to allow... Targeting our creatures and then such things in general. Opponent is really thinking about killing off that uh, Den of the Bug Bear, but in the end they just go for a thrill of possibility. It's just fine with me, don't mind. Yeah, and then. We can send a little goblin after Ugin, and we'll see what comes. I don't know, man. I don't know. Itali is still not here. I'm very surprised by that fact. Um, I mean, it's their best card, probably. Well, they did try and bring it one time. Just bounced it. Would have been better for them to put it on the top of their deck, to be honest. Some magic art that I just, I don't know. Wow. I don't know whether this is a man or a woman or, or whatever. Um, doesn't matter what their gender is, but they're certainly buff. Like, buff as hell. Um, draw a lot of cards and make a lot of treasures and really do everything. Um, my creatures enter the battlefield tab. How nasty you are! Mm. Unbelievable! Uh, now what can I do here really? I could bring Kefnut. Kefnut could be okay, yeah. Why not? Let's just bring Kefnut! Tap Kefnut! Not good for much, but better than nothing! Yay! Better than nothing! Woohoo! Yeah. Wow! Look at you. Look at you going there. Good old Urebrask when the Mirren resistance revived. The furnace dwellers looked at Urebrask for guidance. His decree stunned the others. Let them be. <gasps> Urebrask's decree. Wow. Oi, everything gets double strike. Ouch. <laughs> Good game then. Nice. That's a neat combo finish, my man. Big red creatures. Woohoo! Big red is funny. I like big red because usually Big mana play is more connected with um, the the more controlling, more controlling colors, right? In standard, typically you would see big mana plays made by control decks, combo decks, maybe some mid range decks that have some late game bombs. Uh, big red is sort of the opposite of this, right? It's aggressive through and through. 
And it just really wants to get to a little bit higher mana to do what it usually does. Just cast a couple of hard hitting creatures. Oof, playing against this blob. Cat blob. Not boo, not great. Not horrible. We're just gonna keep and see how things go. We can play the campus first. And then see, take it from there. Hmm. That card wouldn't be bad in my deck either, I guess. Jetmere. What a weird art. Look at that, man. If you have nine creatures, Jetmere is a beast. You only need nine creatures for Jetmere to get out of control. But once you get to nine, pff, you're in deep trouble. I uh, could have played Fable and Evolving, I totally forget about those cards. You see, I don't play... Um, I don't play Brawl much, so I easily forget about things. So, Amulet would be fun, um, Kefnut would be fun, but I think here I'm just gonna keep these two things up. Maybe bounce their Jetmir one time. Yeah, thank you. I don't think so. I don't really think so. Nah. We're okay without that, buddy. Oh, uh, yeah, we can just discard something. Um. And then it's pretty, pretty good. And I think we can also discard this, make a treasure. Uh, the Thriving Island is good. What would we want to do there, Dan? Let me just bring Kefnut for the moment. Yeah, Kefnut is okay for the moment. Increasing Vengeance would have been nice with our Runes Epiphany. Never mind, never mind. Ooh, that's a lot of creatures. That is a whole lot of creatures, my friend. Ooh, goblins die every turn very... Uh, well, we don't need to reveal it. We can just run to Tiffany here. We can send in Kefnet on a mission. And we get another draw. No, we do not reveal. We just discard. And we're gonna play this guy. And he's gonna get us Magma Opus. And then Magma Opus does 4 damage. And uh, 2 permanents to tap. Yeah, it's fine. And we get to play Temple. Ah! Uh, Nah, we need something that we can actually cast, right? And we go in for four. So we get a good amount of synergy out of out of our deck here. Um, ooh, 
You're a dangerous boy, aren't you? You're a dangerous boy. Look at you. What a dangerous boy you are. Who's a dangerous boy? You're a dangerous boy. Oh, burn down the house. Is that good for us? I mean, I guess. Um, it does remove everything my opponent has. Mm, I'm just gonna go ahead with this. And... Do they see what I picked? No, they don't, <laughs> oh, they don't know what I exiled. Oh, that's nice. Okay. That's okay. Is that even necessary though? Not really. Yeah, I think I can just create these little guys and Yeah, I think that's so fine here. And yeah, we don't want more lands at the moment. We would want a little bit of action. Uh, yeah, well, I think the board would not have been bad because Kefnot comes back eventually, but. Yeah. They can get in for a good amount. They could get in for, for seven, basically. But, uh. Ooh, Niv. Guess I actually won the game here. I think so, because I can just copy the elemental and just go in with everyone. I think that wins me the game. I'm sure I'm gonna get in for at least seven. Okay, so I just win. It's fine. That yeah, was funny. Token deck with Jetmere. Yeah, I like that. Tokens with Jetmere. Look at that. Looks really cool and um, interesting. Yeah, let's play one more time. Let's see how things go. Tokens with Jetmere. Man, cool things. People make... Uh -huh. Right, 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 right. Um... This is not good, but uh, this is okay, absolutely. Yeah, Bangbuster can draw us into something good later on. We just need to uh, just need to get to that point. I think I don't have any mountains, so this is the, the biggest problem at the moment. Comes to uh, bringing it. I can't bring it untapped. Oh no, it's an Ibn's attack. I hate it. I already hate it. They're just so, so good, too good, way too good. Ah, <sighs> sad. Yeah, I'm just gonna bring Ruta here, and um, you know, maybe I can iron a few times. That would be good. Um, let's serve the hope, I guess, for later. Yeah, it should have been busted. I don't know. My opponent might have some counter spell, and they're like wondering whether they should counter Ruta or not. Do they have removal for Ruta? 
a knife. Wow, that's some deliberation. <laughs> Love it. I went through all the motions on this one, didn't they? Gotta make sure. Gotta make sure. Right. Okay. And Russo is gonna hit for one. Ah, oh, they're gonna think about this! Oh my god, can Ruta hit? Wow, they took the damage so readily as well. I'm very impressed. My opponent's decision time improved so much. It's incredible. Uh, I mean, we are not in a bad position. We are not in a bad position. We can maybe... Ooh, we would need to serve a fifth land. Right, we would need to serve a fifth land. So what we're going to do is to add some mana and draw a card and try to draw into lands. And there it is! Neat! Neat, 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 neat. Now we, we're not getting any of our mana rocks. We do have quite a few mana rocks, 4 or 5, and we do have... We do have a few spells making uh, treasures, admittedly not too many, but a couple. Um, it would have been nice to draw into one of those, but we did not, so, you know, that's nice. Wow, they removed everything we had there. My opponent is serious. My opponent is not playing around, man. They're dead serious about this. Really, really dead serious about this. Mm hmm. Gyre Engineer. Meh. Actually, it might enable me to just cast enough cards next turn and flip it, or at least cast an Iron's Epiphany and flip potentially. Chromatic Land turn. Okay, so they have Nip Mana for next turn. They do have Nip Mana. Oh, they still have something noty they are keeping up. Oh, dang. Didn't get to 6 mana. I can't pay that. Oof. I can't pay that and that's very, 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 very sad. And very, 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 very bad. We are going to try to get rid of the Theft. They can uptick it, or they can phase out the Glory Bringer. They uptick, do they get removal? They have something, probably. No, interesting. So why did they shock in that land? I'm not quite sure about that. What was the... Why did Stomping Ground need to be shocked in? That's proud. And they're not playing Niv. Nani. What are you up to, opponent? Really? 
Six lands would be too much. Or a mana rock. <laughs> pretty, pretty unbelievable. Pretty, pretty unbelievability. No. Yes. Uh, yep. Sir. Okay. Sure. Why not? Um. Ruth is gonna attack. We're gonna say go. And try thousand year storm next turn. Okay, they tapped out a little bit. Tapete. Wow, I see so many starts. The top 10? It's ridiculous. So they have a counter spell. They have a. Uh... Wow, they have so many things. Yeah, this is bad. This is really, really, really rather bad. There isn't much I can do here. Yeah, that's pretty obvious, right? Opponent's gonna oppose. That's what these opponents do. Opponents keep opposing. Is actually good for me. Um, yep, there we go. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, good kill. My poor Sahili is gonna die. Sad you badge. <laughs> tough things, tough things. Yeah, back to the command zone. Back to the command zone, baby. So what is my opponent up to now? The fairy, what else? We naughty, nasty person. Yeah, I mean, if things go well, we might be able to take a couple of extra turns here. Oh, come on, my poor Rutha. So rude. So rude, isn't it? And it's gonna be me. So that should help the amulet to flip. The amulet, when is the amulet going to flip, I wonder? Okay, it's pretty sure that I'm gonna get at least one extra turn. Uh, huh. Okay, and they're gonna counter the second time warp. That is fine, doesn't matter that much. We are already gonna get to a good level. Yeah, we're gonna get at least one extra. But my friend, this is a bit annoying. So many turns in. So we're gonna cast Galvanic Iteration on Aaron's Epiphany. 
We're just gonna create a second copy. We're just gonna scribe at this. Uh, we definitely don't want the virus disruption at this point in the game. So. the heck. Oh, we would have needed to cast this first. Aha, uh -huh, that didn't work. Um, <laughs> gotta love it, man. Gotta love it. Uh, so it's like nothing. Um, cool. That's a great death. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's so great. So what should I do? What uh, should I uh, do, my man? One, two, three, five, eight. Yeah, just bring an eight, eight. Fair enough. Can be a nine, nine. Can be a nine, nine. I finally have mana. And then next turn we can maybe bring Sahili and copy the serpent. I think now that I was looking for spells, I get like three mountains in a row. Never mind, never mind. Yeah, opponent's only single counter spell. Any up well with my time spiral, time warp, or whatever it is. Dang! So boring. Increasing vengeance. Oh, they have it too. Nice. Good to see. Good to see I'm not the only one playing this prick spell. Um. So this copy is the next spell. How useless. How insanely useless this is. It's unbelievable. Um. Sure, sure, sure. They got their extra turn. We're tapping my birds. Yeah. Uro. Nice. They're gonna bring back Uro. Without a doubt. Because why would they do anything else? Yeah, they can do that. Do we have any good spells? Brainstorm, Lightning Bolt. Uh, blast, promise, smashing, charm, anger. I yes, we have quite a few good spells. Opus, epiphany, uh, windfall, wrath, Mizix's mastery, deluge. Many. And many. We're just not drawing any of them. No, in this game we keep drawing lands, it seems. Quite a few. Uh, and we drew many of our very, very few creatures, actually. In most of these games. Interesting. Isn't it? I don't know what my opponent is really up to. Everything phases out. How oh, interesting. Ah, uh, now I get all my mana rocks. This is ridiculous. And this is just straight up ridiculous. If it's a challenge you want, then a challenge you'll get. No, I'm just going to. No, no, thank you, no. Maybe no. Maybe, maybe, just no. Probably not. Don't I have already... Yeah, I've already put a bunch of this stuff on the bottom. One instant spell, please. I could copy it three times. Can be anything, even brainstorm is good. 
Hello! There are some good cards in this deck. Behold, the Prismari command would be amazing. Matter of Swarm would be amazing. That's not amazing. It's not amazing either. Look. Let's make this quick. It's quite funny. I don't know what they're up to. Yeah, it's becoming very, very, very tedious. I'm gonna keep getting lands then. This is not going to work out. Not going to work out. There you are. That's interesting. That is interesting. But literally, this is the only spell I can do anything with. It's pretty bad. Yeah. Okay. What is my opponent up to here? Of course, Time Warp is the one that we want. Uh, can the target... I can't target the... Dang, this is weird. These all resolve before... The heck, man. Uh oh, that's weird. Oh, we can't target that, can we? No. Mountain. Ah, oh, that would have been good a couple of times ago. A couple of turns ago, that would have been pretty decent. Yeah. Sure. Phase this out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. <laughs> this is becoming a. This is becoming a pretty, pretty bad joke. This is becoming a pretty, pretty, pretty bad joke. No matter how I look at it, this is becoming a. Bad and ridiculous joke. Living in a monastery full of yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. Motherland!
Dang, man. Oh, Meteor Swarm. Finally. That's not bad. Um, Not that bad. Let's give it a go. And maybe next turn we can do something like that. Or about draws. Drone. Right. Sure. <laughs> Opponent's draws are a little bit better than mine, I guess. Ever so slightly, mildly better. But this is a pretty epic fight, though, with Nip Mizzet. But they're, ah, they have two turns. I think they can just kill me now. I think they can actually just kill me now. I'm pretty sure they're gonna have removal. Yeah, of course, of course. They're gonna take an extra turn, so. There you go. Anything they can't cast? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So we need... The conclusion is we need a lot more instants and sorcerers and fewer enabling cards. And this is the the conclusion I can draw from this game. Um, because the way things are set up at the moment, it's just not that good. We just don't find enough things to copy and... Um, and play around with. And of course that would be the whole point of the deck, right? So uh yeah commander to command zone as usual. Oh, oh nice. Six time my graveyard as it is. Mm hmm Sure. Funny things though, man. Funny things though. Card draw is... Card draw is weird, right? Because... It's so... Hard to control these things. Oh well. Anyway... Is it still my opponent's turn? Oh, God. Sorry, I'm just looking around, reading a bit while my opponent is taking their turn, because they're also not that fast. I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna say goodbye. Oh, yeah. Okay, they'll just kill me finally. It took them ages, though. Dang. They were not quick about this. Um, maybe that's okay. Fair enough. They should enjoy playing their deck out, right? I mean, that's why all of us are here, in a certain way. Um, and I do need to add... I definitely need to add... some instants and sorceries that could be copied. And I think some of these should actually be... Of course they were extremely lucky with having one a single counter spell in their deck encountering the Thousand Year Storm, but never mind. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I want Key to the Archive. Um, I don't think I want the Hermit. I would much, yeah, I would much rather have some card draw. Just some good old fashioned card draw. Yep. Yep, this kind of thing. Exactly. I think I'm just gonna go with divination. I know it's not amazing, but um. 
Mm. Mm, so good enough. Sort of good enough. And oh yeah, the lands, right? So we need the uh, Fable Passage and we need the... Uh, we definitely need a Fable Passage. In fact, we're gonna go down two mountains and add Fable Passage and uh, add Evolving Wilds and add Terra, Terramorphic Expanse. Yep, there we go. That's gonna help a little bit to thin out the deck, and also we can look for the, the color that we need at that time and that moment. So that should help a little bit with uh, card selection and, and getting things, setting things up the way that we want them to be set up. So now, brains. Okay, that's. Uh, a little bit more to my liking. So we can actually look for an island here. And... We can just go with a Fable Passage in the Mountain. Keep a brainstorm. Yeah, these would both have been fantastic in the previous game, but nothing like this could be found in those games. To brainstorm! I'm not sure about that. Do we want brainstorm or not? Brainstorm could be good later, though. Although, yeah. So we definitely don't need our runs and teach, for example, at this point. Um, it's fine. And the teach, by example, of a divination would be lit, though. Mm, true. But this is, I think, just going to be Sahili and Spire Bluff at this point. And. We're going to be content with leaving Teach by example on top, because both with Divination and Negate it might be good. Although they're not going to have any counter spells, so... Yeah, that's true. And Arun's Epiphany is still far, far away, so... Yeah. True that, true that. So let's have a quick look. What do we get next turn? Mmm, Narset. Oh, not necessarily what I want here. Maybe rather... Actually... I think this is fine. So I'm gonna be the one... Yeah, I think I'm, I'm okay with this. I'm gonna take away my opponent's ability to really interact here. I'm gonna look for some more lands. And then um, Kiki and Aaron can go. And we hope to take back Aaron with the Gearhawk. That's about it for the moment. Artifact. Okay. Can I copy Treasure Wall? This is gonna be interesting. Hmm. I want to give this a try. If I can copy treasure world and make two treasures with the copied treasure world, that would be pretty dang good. Oh, is it going to be tear grid? No! Oh gosh, look at that. Tiny bones. I haven't seen this little guy in a while. I haven't seen this little guy in, a while, guy in a while. So can I copy the treasure world? I can! Oh dang! And so I can do this 
Wow. Oh, this is brilliant. No, 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 this is brilliant. Uh, I mean, eventually I do want land number six, I guess. Right, yeah, this is good with many things here. Wow. So good. Oh my god, this is... Chef's kiss. Um, actually, the Mizzix Mastery would be perfect here. Let's try one. Uh, no, that's not really what we want at the moment. We're gonna cast this on Overload. back at the moment. I mean the Gearhawk can go back or the gold spin or the Nimbus. <laughs> yeah, it's okay at the moment. Yeah, that's fine, that ordering. Okay, we take those things out. We're gonna get an extra turn. Um so we can here what can we do? We could play consider gold span Ancient gear help. I guess gold span is pretty good. And then if I copy gold span that they make Two treasure tokens when it attacks, so I have four mana. So that should five mana actually. That should get me for sure a divination. Hmm. And get me a blue mana. Yeah, that's okay. And get me keep up on the gate. And get me cold steel on blue. And then that goes. Right, that was quite a turn. Uh Sahili did a lot of work. Yeah, back to the command zone. And we're hoping here we don't need to do a whole lot. Ouch! That is painful, man. Don't do that. Don't do that. Um, I think I'm just gonna have to go with. I'm just gonna have to go with Nev here. Still have Liliana spoils target. Uh, discards a card. You're black. The rest. Bottom. Ah. Uh, you're okay with discarding something. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. We can discard a land. Basically, I want to keep the negate in case they have a removal spell for me, visit, which they most likely will do. Yeah. Ooh, they got the uh, they got my land. How oh, nasty. Oof. No. Not low, thank you. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, they can't make the spiders, so they won't have blockers in the air, and then they're just gonna die very quickly to Niv. 
Nave can take over games so fast if it's unchecked. Nave can take over games so fast. Now, this was so much better than the previous ones. I think the the um, edit card draw just works wonderfully. It's, it's really the kind of glue that was needed here. Um, yeah. It's tricky because you want to have a good amount of, of copy spells, um, but of course you also want to have a good amount of... Um, you also want to have a certain good amount of um, spells to copy, right? Oof. Every time I see brainstorm in my starting hand, I'm just, I'm just content. I'm just very content. And it's hard not to be happy, right? I think we go bluff because this has a chance of coming in on that later, whereas this will always come in that. Um, and this way, this way we have a pretty good start, Ishin. Ishin is uh, tricky. Ishin is not very strong, and usually the player, uh, the the cards played in Ishin aren't very strong either. However, Ishin can be really explosive if you're not, if one doesn't pay attention. So I guess that's okay. And then we'll see from here. Interesting. It's not great. Right, I see what they're up to. Mm -hmm. I think at this point we're just going to wait. Uh, oh, they got the trigger, silly me. Of course, of course. But I think one time maybe that's fine. And we can just draw a card with the Bang Buster. And just push our card advantage a bit. So let's see what we can... Open, maybe we can get something good. Um, explosion expansion, okay. That can go back for the moment. Whatever I can come out. Then we are still in four mana. Still in four mana. I think we're just gonna get rid of the thief. Yep, yeah. rid of the thief here. Get in one time with Ruta and pass. Maybe I'm gonna remove something with the blast. Sure. Yeah, I'm quite content with removing that. And then I'm gonna get this kind of trigger. So yeah. Six mana. It's pretty good. Um I think at the moment I'm just okay with casting Sahili and the Giant and through the through the Bangbuster. Let's just go in and we just uh, actually that's good. Chandra is quite good, yeah, because they are a creature heavy deck and they're a bit stuck on lands as well. So here we have seven mana. We can pump that up to eight, right? Yeah, we can pump that up to eight, and then uh, yeah, sure. Just go ahead with Chandra. 
Shouldn't we could make a team mana? We can just. I'm just gonna do some damage, that's okay. This Mari command, maybe not now. Um, let's have some. Nothing great in there. Oh well. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Okay, so Ishin comes down. Ah, uh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Uh, so let's have a look. What do we get? Mm, nope. That's not something we want. I see a weakness. We could just re get rid of Ishin. That's true as well. But let's do the more complicated and, and much funnier line. Um, right. And target a creature, target a player, pay two, and then copy that. We're going to see a ton of cards. We're going to see a ton of cards. Oof. Another one. Uh, okay. We can ex discard these two as well. And so we still have a bunch of mana. Nether Swarm is useless. Your hawk is useless, but will we bring your time? I could have time warped. No, no, I'm one last short. Ah, uh, right. Oh well. Oh well, that, that was fun. That went well. Poor Ishin didn't really match up well here. Uh, oh well, you know. Sometimes they do match up well, sometimes not. Yeah, Ishin is interesting because it's very, very creature heavy. And. Very, very creature heavy. Like this, two is two lands. Ah, man, this kind of counts. Yep, that's a little bit better, maybe not great, but somewhat better. Mm, fjord, yeah, fjord is okay. Then we can then cold steel, and then we're we're in an okay place. I mean, I'm not sure we can keep up with Ashika, but you know, it's better than nothing. Uh, better than nothing. And blue. Next turn we have four. Four is nice, yeah. <laughs> Gotta love it, man. Good old death. Back to ruin everyone's fun. Uh, I'm gonna cast this on three because I, don't, I really want to get rid of death. Really, really, really want to get rid of that. Uh, if that sticks around, I, I just, I'm just gonna be in trouble. Yeah, what a hateful deck! I wouldn't be able to get rid of the prismatic bridge, so you know, 
Yeah, it's basically going to be an easy death here for me. They won't be able to get rid of blue and red. Yeah, I just can't, can't do it. So, nothing I will be able to do about that. And I'm so far behind already, thanks to the tempo swing by Teff. Thanks to the tempo swing by Teffy. Well, Teffy needs to go, that's for sure. Before the boss is something else and throws them a card. But they're gonna, just gonna play the bridge and then basically the game is going to be sort of over, I think. Sad, but it is what it is. Not much I can do about that. Not much I can do about that. Bang. Bang, bang, people. I'm gonna die here to Teffel. Teffel, Teffel. So, I mean, one thing... Yeah? Oh, for fuck's sake, come on. <laughs> Dude. This is so annoying. So you get copied first, and then man this one. Yeah, yeah. I get the idea, I get the idea. Oh, I can't even do that because of Narset. Oh. <laughs> oh no, that was stupid. That was stupid and horrible and wrong. Okay. Well, that's a bit tricky. Opponent managed to get the best of us. Pretty easily. Pretty, pretty easily. Dang. Alright, one more. Is it? Is it boys? Is it girls? We need to do better than this. We need to do better than this, my friends. But this is, in some ways, I guess this is the beauty of, um, of, um, Brawl that, you know, at least I don't know how other people feel about it. I just don't feel competitive about it. I feel that if I lose, it didn't matter. And I don't know why I'm so relaxed about Brawl, because I'm not always so relaxed about other formats, but in Brawl, I feel like, yeah, that's okay, that's fine. Now, the thing here is, we're playing... Uh, this guy. Thinking about their, uh, their mulligan. Yay! Difficult, difficult, net. Well, we have a very bad hand again, so I, I don't think I can run this. Um, Vengeance uncastable, Windfall uncastable, Delusion uncastable. And there's nothing I can use or do to... Um, I mean, maybe Blast can help me to look for a creature, though, or a land. Yeah, that's true. So we can just bring the egg. Hopefully that can block a bit. Oh, I guess it's gonna take them ages. Look at that. No, 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 no. Wow. I'm actually a little bit shocked. I thought it was gonna be... I thought they were going to be very, very slow at every step of the game, but... To be fair, this is quick. They're just taking a, a little break at the beginning. And we're just going to bring some here and dig for another land on top. Uh, and we got it, actually. Although this is not exactly what I would want. Uh, but it's okay, because we can only expect to win for... That's good enough. 
It's gonna be good enough here. It's gonna be good enough. Abzan is gonna have Frampton so easily. And then. Uh, I can get up to 4 mana, but. It doesn't help, right? Does it? No. Because. I need mana anyway. I don't want to sacrifice this. Maybe it would have been good to create a copy and make a treasure, and then I'm a little bit like, more flexible regarding mana I'm in a better situation. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we can just get rid of that, and then our copy is going to trigger this. The next turn will be the can do this fall. And Get something out of it. Uh, I can suck it for mana. They don't interest him. Uh, just go for it. I still have two mana. Hmm. So if you have five mana now, does it matter? Not really, does it? No. We're just gonna go with the windfall here. And discard. Maybe discard Vengeance. Yep, sure, sure, sure. We just really need to hit lands. Yep, that's perfect. We just really need to hit lands. Yep, yep. That's, that's all. Um, I mean, one thing we could do here would be to copy a treasure and then use that to pay for Brainstorm. And get one of flips, right? Yeah. And we get. Ah, uh -huh. so these are three more lands are had. Ouch, 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 ouch. So this one, maybe this one can go back. Uh, I guess the dragon is just gonna get in. Yeah. All right. That's not bad. So he may have me to ramp in a very fun way. This is good. Rejuvenator, of course, but it's just ramping. Something like that. But the funny thing is that they're not really putting anything into the graveyard. I mean, even if, even if they get back these creatures, they are mainly going to just be... Hmm... And what purpose are they going to serve? Okay... Fiend Arts on it. Ah, it's free mana now. Any target. But, I don't have to cast that now, I think. Um, so sadly none of these... is very... <laughs> yeah. None of these is very useful. Five, six, seven. I could deluge. Yeah, I can just deluge. Just to. Yeah, just. Instants are good. Mm. And I think I'm gonna copy one of these again. And just uh, get rid of the fiend artisan. 
Hit opponent's face. Get him with the dragon. And uh, I'm almost a bit good to be. Yeah, maybe I'm gonna cycle the. But I can just cast it and then. Yeah, I can just cast it and then. Do it again. Dark, what the heck, man? What do they want with so much mana? I see that they can bring back some creatures, but. Uh, okay, Riz. Oh, hi. That's a tough one. You know, that's. That's a heck of a tough board. Um. So that's 6, 7, 8. Problem is we can't copy anything with that. Yeah, so easy. Not going to be so easy. But maybe if we. So if I would bring back Extra Static Blast, Prismari Command, two, six, two, six, six. it's very hard to see how we could do enough damage. But maybe, maybe Gearhawk is good because it can, if I copy it. It can do something twice, right? Ooh, but I don't even have to copy it. Uh, so let's see what could we draw. That's not good here. That's definitely not good. Do I have your attention now? Uh, this is not good either. This, uh, this dark with this. Two damage, make a treasure. Two more damage. Oh, I could copy Prismatic. And then we get two damage there. Plus, we get the copies. Ah, oh, I think. Okay, and then we can still get him. No, oh, what? Okay, and we can still bring this and at the end of turn. So that was quite funky, okay, that was quite funky. We could get rid of this. But the good thing is that they don't have anything to they don't have anything to mutate onto. They don't have anything to mutate onto. So that's powerful. Right, so we do want here a um I guess an island. And then how do we do that? Um Wait, that's one, three, six, seven, eight, eleven, twelve. Twelve is still not enough for both of these, sadly. Um, but I guess we do want. We do want to have a look at that, right? And then um, just cast this. Uh, yeah, and two permanents to tap. Right, that's fine. We're okay, and two more damage there. Wheel of Summer! <laughs> <laughs> that did blow me out, yeah. That did blow me out. It was well played. Um, yeah, it was well played.
Yeah. Thinking about should they block or not? I could actually have done something good. Sure. Okay. They pay two life. Really? Okay. Oh, because they want to bring back a lot of stuff, right? Ah, uh, this is their big myth of Nesroid turn. Oh, that's cool. That's, I like that. But I, yeah. <laughs> they messed up. So they, they accidentally, they wanted to mutate onto the Doom Whisper, but they, uh, they just sacrificed it to the Phyrexian Tower. And they get mana, so they, they would have had need had to uh, play first a an untapped untapped land, and then they could have done this. But uh, their sequencing was sadly off. I mean, you know that happens. Yeah, with Phyrexian Tower, I think all of us had our adventures um, at some point. It's just a very finicky card, and yeah, you gotta get it right. Um, I mean, it's not great, but we have some removal and not, you know. Um, I think it's fine. It's okay. Nothing special. I'm just gonna go with Island and Signet, and then probably Sahili and start trying. What are we playing against? Roven and Will. And that, that's interesting, and it never played against these two. So I'm sort of genuinely interested. Good old Rowan and Will. Huh. That that does sound fun to me, I like to play against them. And I think we have a red, so I'm just gonna look for an eye. Oh uh, might want to look. Yeah, but if I want to cast Meteor Swarm. Mm, but still, maybe it would have been okay. I don't know. Anyway. Hopefully we are good for the moment. Uh, let's see how this can hit Planeswalkers. Yeah, okay. So next turn, if we really want to, we can be on 3, 4, 5, 6 mana. And it's a healing. So, that's not bad. Or 5. And then copy and send that in. Yeah, I like that. Um, it's pretty good. Oh, I can't target it. I always forget that I can't target this. Um, you know what? Against this deck, this is actually gonna be good. This may hurt a little. Right, 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 right. Oh, that mountain looks cool. Akimizu. What is Akimizu san up to here? Akimizu san, what are you doing, you cheeky guy? Um, oh, that's brilliant. You know what? I can remove those two. And I like that. I just like that. Um, do we have to divide the eight damage though between the two? That's still something I like. Mm, we could just get rid of the Mystic and then kill the Sahili. That's good enough. Yeah, I think so. Yes, indeed. Indeed, my friend. And get rid of Sahili. Once Sahili is enough on the board. Maybe then. Make a copy of that. And cast Ratchet Bomb. And put a counter on Ratchet Bomb. <sighs> That's not bad. And Lear could be. Uh, Lear could be great, yeah. If we 
There were gifts on other instances and sorcerers. Ouch! That's, uh, that's rough. <laughs> that's pretty rough. So... Yeah, I think I'm gonna bring Lear, and uh, I think I'm also gonna just fight on the door charge, and let my opponent take the turn. I like their lines, these are really cool. Very fashionable, Yucatana style. The full commander is gonna go away, but that's alright. Unless they have removal for Lear as well, in which case I'm gonna be pissed, but... Not much I can do. Ooh, need would be lovely as well. I think I need to get rid of that uh, serpent. I think I need to get rid of that, right? Yeah. Sad and bad, but I do. Yeah, not much I can do about that. I mean... Oh, they have a counter spell. Yeah, it's just too annoying. I mean, you know, it can even block Nave. <laughs> it can even block Nave. That's really pretty, pretty nasty. Oh, but my spell is going to be countered at the moment. That's pretty good. We're going to put a counter on there. And I think we're just going to... We're just going to go in for three. And say go. Opponent is really fueling, they didn't like this, they really <laughs> wanted to counter that. Uh, but you have to re read Lear, spells can't be countered. Spells can't be countered, which means I can't use my memory lapse either. I think opponent just hasn't read it and now they're salty and they're like, why did it not work? Well, my man, life's hard. Don't make it harder for yourself. Don't make it even harder for yourself, buddy. Yeah. Thing is, I can't cast it, but it won't counter it. Oh, good. This will give me a it's pretty decent, this well guy. He's, uh, he's alright. That's for sure. He's doing his job. Standing in the doorway menacingly. I don't know what to think of Will. Seems like, like a very impressive card to me, but... You know, these cards are so devious, right? He's very expensive. This is a 5 mana draw, too. Oh. I don't know, man. This is not convincing. A braid? Really? A nasty, naughty boy. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. How dare you? Get rid of my signet. Yeah, but I'll die around. Bye bye. Have a good day. Ah, uh, let's just get in. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, I'm doing okay, thank you. How are you? I'm doing okay. How are you? How are you? Wow, rough. Ooh, very cool. 
very, very cool. Look at that. Um, oh, they didn't like that. They didn't like that. Okay. Well, no wonder, right? I mean... Uh, just... Tough, tough, tough. So now. Yeah, reading the news these days, it's tough. One of the toughest things is the news are pretty obvious. It's the usual. There are different parties to each conflict, and you sort of have to have to know, have to understand um, what uh, what their goals are, and then you can figure out what the news mean. The difficult part is that. The amount of noise and nonsense is just increasing extremely rapidly, uh, and that the the number of people engaging is increasing as well, and that's increasing the noise too. So you have a lot of people who have very low quality reasoning skills and opinions, and they can create a lot of confusion. And that's just very bad for everyone. Uh, yeah, we can bring Season Pyro. Sure. These guys are just so far away from being cast. Yeah, we have now a decentish board. I don't think opponent is going to play into the Ratchet Bomb. Why would they? The interesting thing for me is going to be... Should I... Hmm. Should I keep this for later? Or should I... Uh... Use it to get rid of Sithis. Sithis is such a pain in the back, though. Yeah. Okay. Okay, man. Sure. Dude, don't worry about that. Um. I mean, I guess I want to have a quick look. What we can get. Shadow Skull in the hand is actually kind of attractive. And then what about our back into the yeah, and then we can just use the expanse, get a um get another mountain or whatever. And uh I, mean, I guess I'm just gonna sack. The bomb. So this should go, and we can just continue going in. I haven't started going in. Well, we can't get in. Is okay. If you bring this back for four, I'm quite happy, so I can remove it again. Storm's wrath or burn down the house here, uh, probably. So, I guess we're gonna run this. Yep. Sure, sure, sure. We're gonna use the onset to save Sithis. 
if they uh, if they are not mad. That means next turn I can use burn down the house to get rid of it. Good job, good job. Multi things going on here. My opponent is definitely up to something. My opponent is up to something, we know that. Mm, more lands, not really needed now. I'm just gonna bring the glory bringer and try to get rid of. Try to get rid of this. Hope this works. Maybe not. Maybe it does. We'll see in a moment. We might have some other protection plan. <laughs> they drew all their spells to protect Sithus. And they do play many as well. It's quite funny. Yeah. They do play many spells to protect it. Well, but you have to do that sort of, I guess. We haven't drawn any of our extra turn spells or or to Yeah. Oh. Very, very rough and tough. So they're thinking about should they leave up more protection? Should they just try and get rid of things? Ooh, still gonna draw three cards. God. Man, this deck obnoxious. Sithis is an obnoxious commander, I don't think it should have been printed, but yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we're just gonna do this. Get rid of everything here. Um, bring in Castle of Entras, bring in Sahili. I hope they don't have anything hasty. Yeah, that's good. I'm drawing a couple of cards will be nice. It gives us some selection as well. And, and we should be able to get on well. Desperate, I have to admit. Yeah. Wow. No, I 
I, I totally don't intend to pay at all. Rough, man. Eh? Uh, whenever an opponent draws a card. Really, really, really tough. Okay, we drew a lot of lands. I'm not sure I'm happy about this. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, not much. I think this is gonna come back and they have so much better. I think we've lost this one. But we won't be able to go off fast enough. Uh, We won't be able to do much with this. Yeah, well, that's a defeat. Sithith is a bit strong, of course, we knew that. Not exactly something we can deal with. Uh, it's a good old, simple, janky, janky thing. Okay-ish. These two are very, very attractive. What are we playing against? Death. <laughs> God no. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, why do I have to play against these horribly, horribly efficient things with my poor Sahili deck? Yeah, not spiky. I, I just want to have an easy fun game, you know? I just want to have an easy, chill, fun game. Um, yeah, no need for this kind of this kind of aggression. Very dang man, it's pretty rough. Pretty, 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 pretty rough. Um, yeah, I think we just have to pass the turn and... My opponent doesn't do anything, we'll just be hold. In the end of their turn. If they do something naughty, we'll just kind of spell. Uh, the sleeves my opponent is playing with. Sure, sure. Are they playing counter spells? If they tap out, that's not a bad thing for me. No, because your walk is land, it's okay. Uh, Big Chandra could be very useful here. Big Chandra could be very, very, very useful here. And we have Deluge as well. Deluge is excellent here. Yep. Yeah. Deluge is just good. Dwellers look pretty horrifying. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna try and cast Deluge and see whether whether it goes through. No, it's gonna eat and absorb. I see. Tough, tough, tough. 
Can we do anything in that case? Not really. We're just gonna pass the turn. We need to catch out my opponent's death. We need to catch out my opponent's death. Uh, so that we can push it a bit later. We get less of a tempo swing off it. <laughs> Other Teferi. Yeah, I don't mind this one. It's annoying, but you know. We caught that the Teferi, that's a good thing. Um So what would I want here? What would I want here? Um bum bum bum. Might want a Sahili and then use the Sahili to copy a treasure vault, set that treasure vault and make a treasure wash away. I have nothing I can do. Yeah, wash away is pretty nasty. Okay, there we go. Now my opponent's gonna go for his Teferi. And maybe a few more lands now. Uh huh. There. <laughs> All the Teferi in the world. Wow. That's, uh, that's interesting. My opponent is demonstrating to me how many Teferis there are. Very interesting. Um. I'm not that fascinated by death, but never mind. I'm just gonna try and play Mirror Breaker. Mm, it's not bad. I don't really need Sweltering Suns and Goblin, so. Serve sort of good. Yeah, now we don't get any lands, so... Mm -hmm. Sure, of course, of course, of course. Sorry, of course you have that guy. Of course you have that guy. Of course you have it. He's your commander. Who is your commander? Good Tiffy Taffy. Please just play. You're playing Brawl in order to escape the spikiness, and then you come at me with three the fairies and absorb and sanctify. So incredibly boring, you're even slow at the game. It sucks to play against you, man. Sorry to say. Sorry to say, but it sucks to play against you. Never ever am I gonna play get lands again. I sense a counter spot coming. They got all their land drops and we didn't get any, so we're gonna have to move on with our lives. We're gonna have to move on with our lives, people. Wash away looks good. Wash away looks good. But this deck is sort of exactly as I, I sort of expected. He... it's not great. It can have a couple of good matchups against weaker decks. Um, and that's sort of about it, but it's not going to do well against um, any of the competitive, any of the serious competitive um, commanders. And that's what you would expect usually, right? In this kind of uh, games.
<laughs> Ouch. Rough. Uh, it's gonna go into my hand. It's gonna go back. It's gonna go out. And yeah, it's fine. I'm gonna pull in one more blue. There you are. And then we're gonna pull in one more red. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cool commander. I'm basically a professional at saving in a stride by now. Very cool cat commander. Let's bring things up to a simmer. Very cool cat in you. Chandra on Chandra violence. I'm done playing. Good old Chandra's. Dankest of Dan's. He's a Dan, but he's the dankest Dan you've ever met, right? Yeah, well, there are dank Dan's, no doubt about that. Some. You know how it is, some Dan's are just more dank. I've always noticed this. Of all the bands I know, yeah. some of them are dank and some of them are not. Uh, this Dan, extremely dank. Yeah, no matter how I look at it, I would be very hard pressed to find a Dan who is dank as this Dan. Freaking hell. That's gonna be a ton of damage. 11? Yep. Brutal. Sure, man, sure. Uh huh. 14? 16? 17? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Uh. Kind of artifact. Yeah. Good. Let's get rid of those things. It's been a bit too much. A little bit too much. Uh -huh. Watch me heat up the dance floor. What do they have for one mana? Oh damn! I thought they have something. It's very uh. Very scary. So we can cast Kuzmari Command. Not great. Not that great. This is a fun idea. I think Faithless Looting would actually be good in this deck because I have a couple of ways to cast cards from my graveyard. Uh oh. <laughs> five, five. Freaking hell, man. Freaking hell, this is disastrous. I'm just dead because I won't be able to. Do... Oh no. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's the only one. Um, none of these are artifacts. No. The two damage doesn't matter then. Does it matter to any of the planeswalkers? No. Yeah, not really. Yeah, I think it's just gonna be like that. And we can discard these. 
Yeah, we can maybe try and find something decent. Not another land. Thank you. <laughs> Not a mana rock exactly either. Mm, I think we're done. I think we're done here. Most likely. And then I can bring this, and what I can do is kill this guy. Okay, we got something. Next time I'll wear more comfortable shoes. And then So now I came a bit late though. <sighs> Dang. Good old Epiphany. I'm gonna die, I know. Uh, it's just so fun to play this bit. And uh, I mean this is the end of the end of the line of course. Uh opponent's gonna just bring their Chandra and ping for one, but you know it was so fun to see how it plays out. And it played out well! And we saw some crazy action, right? And seeing some crazy action is always fun. Uh, crazy action is just good. Crazy action is just good. Okay. Oh well. That's that. Fellas, good run. Very funny games. I love the synergies. And I think this is a very fitting and funny way for us to die, actually. Um, it's not a bad thing at all. So... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, well, let's have a look. Maybe we can get some better results. Uh, I feel that I don't have enough removal. <laughs> in some games, when I didn't need it, I drew a lot of it, though. And in other games, when I when I didn't need it, when I did need it, I, I just didn't do it. But I mean, you know, this is always the case, right? I mean, if you have 100 guards and uh, there's going to be some inconsistency, and that's okay. It's nothing horrible. Nothing horrible about it. But this is not good. Uh, this is okay because we have Jabari Disruption as a land, so. I might actually just bring it out here. Like this. And Tiamat. Wow, big dragon that is. Ooh, exciting. Scary as well. A little bit scary, right? Yeah, let's get a mountain. Let's get the mountains going. Previous game we got a lot of lands. Now we are not getting that many lands. So we'll see. Maybe we'll start getting a bit more. A few more. Dragon's Horde. Uh, I'm not crazy about Ram. Sorry, mate. 
I'm gonna have to cancel that one. Um, I wonder how many lands there are going to be. <laughs> it's a classic. Um, yeah, well, what can you do? What can you do, man? What can you do? Right, we have Sarki. Ooh, annoying. Annoying piggy boy. Annoying, annoying piggy boy he is. Piggy piggy. Can we get rid of it? Not really. Hmm. And we can bring. <sighs> Sahili and Scry one time. You've never seen anything. Actually, that's good. I'm quite happy with another red mana. Bone Dragon. Mm. Mm. So, what can I do here? I can cast the adversary, make a copy, but the adversary can't really bring back anything good. I can blast, but blast doesn't do much in itself. That and get rid of the bone dragon. Just see. Uh, see whether we can get it. That would be good, right? Would it? I think that would be okay. That's not bad, yeah. It's not great, not bad. But uh, yeah, they can they can bring some annoying stuff, definitely. Interesting. They have a lot of biggies. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of biggies. It's gonna be a 3 3, that's the problem. It's gonna be a 3 3. Uh, it's not bad, but it's not great. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, I didn't draw enough lands, right? That was a big problem here. That was a big, big problem here. You would have needed a lot more. A lot more in terms of. In terms of cards. Dang. Dingy dingy dangy dangy. Yeah, no, we can't do that. Um, I mean, I can make... We can get up to five. 
If I make a treasure, we can get up to five. What can I do then? Can Goblin Dark Dwellers doesn't do much. It doesn't kill the Shivan Dragon. Stone Coil for five. That's not bad, really. I can do that. That's sort of semi decent. I mean, it can block the Shivan Dragon. I'm sure it does. Don't die, I'm gonna be in 7 mana next turn. I can Niv Mizzet then. Yeah, that's okay, maybe. Hmm. I'm not sure I can beat this. Hmm. <clears throat> dang, dang, dang. Wow, look at that. Look at that. So many aggressive big boys. You would really, really, really need something to sort of get rid of the board. Uh huh. Can we cast Opus 3, 7? No, we cannot. We cannot cast Opus. We cannot double cast this. That would be good as well. Um, if I bring the Dark Dwellers, they can command or like just it doesn't do anything doesn't do anything very interesting here uh, yeah and the other problem is yeah oh that's good but not now I know how to ah, dang I need to survive not going to be that easy. Hmm. That's okay. If everyone is attacking Narset. Narset is gonna die anyway. Fine with that. And then Tiamat is going to come and they're going to. <gasps> <laughs> Is it an artifact or an enchantment? It's an enchantment. God, I hate these things. Unbelievable. Do they still have... Oh, yeah, because of Sarkin, right? And, uh... Right. Oof. Oof, oof. It's not gonna be easy. That's not gonna be easy. Um, what can we do here? So maybe we're gonna cast this on Prismari Command. And it's really that I can't do anything interesting. Treasure doesn't help much. Uh, drawing, discarding doesn't help that much either here. Maybe two damage there and destroying that does help a bit. We can kill off the blade wing. Okay, we can get another land. We can get another land. We can copy the Dark Dwellers. And they can do an extra, st an extra static 
blast on the Sarkhan. Kill the blade wing. And next turn, right like next turn we can map Malthus. Malthus. I mean, that has menace, so it can go after Sarkhan. That's pretty good. Actually, that's a much better turn than what I hoped for, to be honest. This is a much better turn than what I hoped for. <laughs> that doesn't help a lot. Uh, but I did manage to cast a lot of spells. Wow. So now my opponent is going to get all the dragons. All the dragons there are. Up to five dragons. Do they even have five other dragons in their deck? They must have, right? I'm sure they have a lot of dragons in their deck. They, <laughs> they do. Oh my, oh my, this, this looks funny, I like this, I like this. Hold no bone, and the cards people play. Commander is so funny. It's hilarious. That's a bit sad, would have been nice to maybe get one more thing, but yeah. That's okay, we'll just have to let that go. we we'll just have to let that go. Yeah, back to the command zone, please, miss it. Hmm... What can I pin down? What can I pin down relatively easily? Can I pin down Tiamat? Not really. I think I can actually. I actually think I might be able to. So that could be for. Yeah, plus two. So that could work. But I think this is gonna work as well. This should work as well. Tap two things. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. So that's gonna do four damage there. And five. And then six. And maybe somehow we can get rid of this as well. Oh, that would be very, very, very important and good. Can we? There's no blue spell I could cast here, is there? Hmm, nope. Bang. Bangy, bangy. Yeah, <laughs> okay, that, that's at least good, that's something. And finally we get rid of Sarkhan. And that guy has been sitting there and creating value for, I don't know, for eternity. Uh, for eternity, really. Now the problem is, with 10 mana, I could double time warp. I only have 10 mana. Ay 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 Hmm You don't need to have ten mana Well we gotta have to And we we really gotta get rid of that guy that's for sure That's 15, 20, no box. 
Oh no, they're just... <laughs> I'm so silly. They're gonna bump up to 24. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I sh yeah, I totally forgot about the Inferno. Yeah, I know. Thank you very much. Well done, well done. Good job. <laughs> I messed up, indeed, indeed. I did mess up. Big time. Did the big messy messy uppy uppy against the dragons. But, uh, you know, it's a fun deck. I'm gonna tune it a little bit. I, I've lost against creature based decks one too many times now, so I think one nice thing would be to have. Uh, what was underperforming? I mean, Javari Disruption, obviously. Um, yeah, Adversary is sort of hard to take advantage of in this deck. So, nah. and so was that Sahili. So maybe three good instant spells. Three good instant spells. Some something tricky, noty. Some interaction that's hard to to play around. It can. You know, make our opponent's life a little bit harder. Make our opponent's life ever so slightly harder and make our life ever so slightly easier. Hmm. Absorb energy looks fun though. I wouldn't mind that. Maybe a borrower would be good as well. But it has to be something more interesting than that though. Shouldn't there shouldn't there be something slightly more fun or interesting or Becky or I don't know. I guess there should. But what? Yeah, and, and looting, definitely. Looting could be good, right? Looting is a sorcery, but looting could just be so good in this deck. Yeah. Okay, let's give it a go like this. We are going to get this deck right. We are going to get it right. I mean, I didn't really add any... <laughs> didn't really add any removal. That was the plan originally. Hmm, not sure what to... Not sure what to expect from them. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, finally, we got good lands. We don't have any instants, though. So interesting the way these things play out. I mean, I guess we could just go for the fjord here to make sure that we have access to all our colors, and then mindstone, and then egg. Yeah, ramping well is just really important. Ooh, opponent is on the opening to this train. Now that's something I was also thinking about playing. Hmm. That's something I was also considering. So, nah. 
what should we do with this guy? I'm tempted to say nothing for the moment. Nothing for the moment. And... Oh, this is not good for me, actually. So silly. Not that good, I guess. Yeah. I might have messed up with the Seagate Stormcaller, Stormcaller, because that's good in copying small cards, but it's not good in copying the kind of larger, more powerful spells that I want to be playing in this deck. Ah, so that's a problem here, right? Hmm. It's gonna be a bit of a problem. Huh. Uh, I'm okay. I'm okay. Right. So the five mana that doesn't help much here. This could help a little bit. Not quite enough. Yeah, this is okay. Um Yeah, that's sort of okay, I guess. Uh, now should we just go with the Fable? We could go with the Fable. Or we could go with Sahili. Uh, Fable is okay now. In the next turn, Sahili could copy the uh, little goblin shaman and make two treasures. Yeah, that sounds good. That actually sounds good. Mm hmm. I mean, as long as they bring back the shade, I'm very happy. As long as that's their play, I'm very, very, very content. I can be up to 6 mana, but what do I do with my mana? That's the question. That is the big question. I can get more mana. What do I use it for? Hmm. Tricky, tricky, tricky. These two for sure. Doesn't do enough. It just doesn't do enough. Okay, we can try this. And then a challenge you want, then you can make a copy here. Inspiration is all around. Uh, send one there, one there. Make two treasures this way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sad gen badge. Sure, they're just gonna kill the kill the two boys. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. So then I can do this for what? Three? One, two, three. Right. And do it like this. 
that's okay. It's not too bad. Is what it is. Problem is the dragon. I should have transformed the dragon. I don't think I could. Could I have spent four on the dragon before? Maybe. Yeah, maybe that's totally possible. And then the dragon could have taken out something. Oh, Chandra even survives. That's pretty bad for me. Oh man. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble because I don't have anything and I have two two good planeswalkers on the board. Dang. Dang, 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 dang. Yeah, this is not good. This is not good. Really, really, really bad. Oh, that can be okay. Maybe. I don't know. Six, seven. Well, let's we'll see. Let's see, let's we'll see. Problem is, if I let them do that, I can't cast the Mizzix. Yeah, I need the Mizzix, right? Give me an idea. I need the Mizzix, Asylum Visitor. What's going on here? Really weird stuff, never mind. Right. The problem is that there's only. PvP. Doesn't even make much sense to do that, to be honest. So I could go... look, we could go with this. Recast the command. And then, when I've already cast it, this is and uh, this is not gonna work because I've already cast it. Oh dang shit! Should have yeah, but then it would have cast the mizics. Yeah, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Dang man. I'm just gonna die to this random weird Ragdos deck. Uh, not good, not good, not good. Hmm. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, but I think I'm just gonna die here, right? 
unless I, I get a board wipe, I would need basically literally to draw into something like um, Anger of the Gods. Um, yeah. <laughs> Not gonna draw into anything like that, of course. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna work. Yeah, okay. Well, fair enough. You know what? It was a fun game. Yeah, no, nothing, nothing, nothing coming up. Where are my Anger of the Gods, my Meteor Swarms, my Sweltering Suns, my Storm Threads, my uh, Burn Down the Houses, my Chandra Awakened Infernos, my Magma Opuses? Ah, man. Mm -hmm. Oh well, I'll just game eventually. And that's it. Good, good, good. It was a fun game. Folks, that's it for today. Um, we took the the uh, we took this for quite a few rounds. It's good. It's fun. It's a uh, it's a nice deck when it comes together. Um, it doesn't always come together. The consistency is not amazing, but you know, try it out if you like. Is it and have a good time. Brawl is all about that. Just easy playing. Have a great day. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.